What is your name, monk? Uh, Philip of Gwyneth. I will make sure my brother won't arrest you. If anyone will have you arrested, it's me. My king, I have come to see you. I have no time for you. Unless you know a solution to my problem. There are archers outside, probably looking forward to killing me. But I have to see what's going on out there with my own eyes, without getting shot. If you have no solution for my problem, better not waste my time, or I will have you arrested. Hmm. Let's confer with allies. What would be the safest way to face an archer? Are you thinking of joining us in battle? <laughs> He's finally become one of us. <laughs> Never mind. Seriously, we're not gonna press? Jesus said to him, put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. No, not exactly. This man neither has a sword nor a choice. Must he die then because he is forced to kill? Can't run from your responsibilities, I'm afraid. He was on a crusade and took lives in the name of the Lord. Why does the Lord not reject the sacrifices of men like him? Why? Doesn't seem anything else over to the left. Congregation. I suspect we're gonna have to go outside again. There's a knight. He is the only one out here who doesn't look afraid. Does the Lord protect him? We also have Lincoln Cathedral. What a sight. Will our cathedral ever be finished? Was there such hardship building this one? Today there's twice as many arches up there. Is that not a bad thing? I've been standing here for weeks now. Ranulph's men are probably just bored. They don't mean harm. How can you be sure? Listen. <whistles> well, that's my friend over there. I've never seen him, but we do this every day. That's how I'm sure. Eleven forty one, what Philip heard about the war in Lincoln. After Lincoln Castle was taken over by men loyal to the Empress Maud, the king lay siege to the castle. Shortly thereafter, news reached the king that Maud's half brother is advancing on Lincoln, and while he is accompanied by a great number of Welsh forces, forces Stephen too is well prepared for battle. In only two days' time, the war for the English throne may finally come to an end when the forces of Maud and Stephen meet on the battleground outside Lincoln. We have Lincoln, never seen such a city, more, more impressive than Winchester, so many stone roads. They wouldn't dare shoot a monk. Lincoln Castle, stolen from King Stephen, Ranulph of Chester's men hide in here, loyal to Maud and Earl Robert. Better not get too close. There's nowhere else to go. Our king's advisors believe it would be dangerous for him to stand out here in front of the archers. They're right. They are? Don't worry. They won't waste their arrows on monks and peasants. But the king would definitely be attempting targets. Would end the war in the blink of an eye. I wouldn't hesitate to shoot the bastard of Gloucester either. The archers won't shoot someone dressed like a peasant. I figured, like, I didn't even need to go outside. Like, I thought about that when I was talking with the king. If you 
were to dress like a poor man, not like a king or a soldier, the archers might not shoot at you. This is highly inappropriate, Philip of Gwyneth. It is. But he's right. Robert's a bastard, but his men are not without honor. Who are you again, monk? Why have you come? Uh, I'm the prior of Kingsbridge, my king. Ah, of course. The prior of Kingsbridge. Uh, I have come to ask for your help. What could be important enough to disturb the king at a time like this? Robert of Gloucester will attack in two days' time. Let us find out why he's here, shall we? Get undressed, Prior of Kingsbridge. Let's do what we're told. My king. We need something from him, after all. Don't be shy. It was your idea, after all. Ranulph's men have been nervous all day. Now, why is that? It's such a simple war. And yet, they could stay holed up in my castle for another month, all these men. So why have the archers out at all? And be safer inside. They don't have to stand up there. My king, the late Percy Hamley and the Priory of Kingsbridge had an agreement I remember. And according to his son, you broke the agreement by conducting an illegal market. He told you? The income was only used to support the cathedral. I did not know we needed a license. The market was held on the church's ground. The church is not above the law. This is not the Holy Roman Empire. No. Of course not. Your market is illegal. I supported William in his decision to punish you, for it didn't merely pay for your cathedral. It also paid for the children of that traitor, Bartholomew. But Eliana and Richard are no traitors. You said so yourself. You said they shall go free. I remember my words, monk. But the Earl of Shiring tells me that a knight in my employ seeks to convince me to change my loyalties. I wouldn't know much about that. William Hamley and Bishop Whaleran said you were sly. Now I think I know why. My king, you must not trust them. Hear me now. You will not receive a market license, and the children of Bartholomew will hang if they go against the Earl of Shiring. Do you understand? I understand. <sighs> of course, that's why all those archers are up there. Robert of Gloucester is not attacking in two days. He's attacking today. To arms! It's an ambush. Do not use the front entrance. Oh, no! They knew that would draw us out. Get my clothes. I need my horse. As Stephen and his men went to face the approaching army, his brother, Bishop Henry, urged me up to the top of the cathedral. His fear had made him forget about our dispute. I had never been that high up. Pray with me, Philip. Pray that Stephen will win, so this war can end. I closed my eyes to pray. Ha! Huh. Not a... Uh... Pray for peace. And I forgot about Kingsbridge. And the market. And what I wanted. I simply prayed for peace. And as I did, I realized that ever since the dream about my parents, I had not prayed. What if, as in the dream, my prayers would not be heard now? I begged the Lord to make me see. To make me see that he was there. Philip, look! 
I was too far away to understand what was happening. Robert's men! They're winning! Stephen is lost! It felt like the world was spinning under my feet. I was afraid that I would fall. I closed my eyes. And then... I saw. Breaking through the church doors! The beast. God has forsaken us. God to protect us. Only us. An atheist monk. Well, not necessarily. Gone for two weeks. We had no idea what had happened to him. To be true, we had other things on our mind. Ali and I. Are you sure we're alone? Right now, there's only you and me. Look at that. Told you. I hope Philip and Richard are all right. Me too. Say, Jack, have you read our book? What about you? What did you think? <laughs> well, I thought it was good, but you, you said it was good, so... No, this is Philip's. If all this falls apart because he set up an illegal market, he alone will be responsible. I have faith in him, and so should you. Who else could save Kingsbridge if not him? <laughs> Do you still remember the text? Well... Do you? Well... I think I remember one part. Oh? And which one was that? <clears throat> Before me, she stood. Her clothing set aside. No flaw to be found in all her body. All clothing was set aside? All of it. And there was no flaw? No flaw at all. <laughs> oh, his shoulders and his arms I saw and I caressed. And then his chest, a form made to be felt and touched. <laughs> Careful there. Oh, oops. Sorry. Don't be. How flat 
her belly beneath her slender waist. Her flanks, what form? What perfect thighs? Yours are remarkable as well. That's not how the text goes. Is it not? Maybe... Uh, maybe it is. Why recall each aspect? Nothing that I saw lacked perfection. As I hugged my naked body close to his. <sighs> Ali. Yes? I love you. I love you too. I always will. <laughs> Did you hear something? No. It's only us, Jack. You and me. It is us. Only us. Hey! Philip the Prior! Monk! Sup! We can play again after that lewd scene. <sighs> Lincoln Castle King Steve. Let's wake up first, I guess. It's after the battle. That's better. Never let them see you weak. Stand tall. Lincoln Castle, the killing will go on and on. No one there to save us. No one there to hear us pray. People by the fire. If the devil is a man, then there is no hell. There is no heaven. Captured knights. Richard, at least he is alive. How long have we been here? King Stephen. What will they do to him? Does not look defeated. What motivates him to go on and on? What about Ranulf's men? Probably glad to be out of the castle after all that time. Probably looking for women and getting drunk. It's getting dark. It's not the end of days. Are you sure of that? I'm not finished here yet. So yes, I'm sure. Richard! Don't draw attention to yourself. Not when they have you in a cage. Not if you're the king. Why am I in here? You are with us, are you not? I prayed for peace. Peace is the wait between one battle and the next. Not wrong. You were right about William Hamley. How so? The moment the battle took a turn for the worse, he and his men switched sides. The Earl of Shiring is fighting for Maud now, and for Robert. William Hamley is only fighting for himself and for Bishop Waleron. Is over there. Thank you. Francis! Oh, Philip. Of course. You came with your master, Earl Robert, did you not? Yes. When I heard from Bishop Henry that you were in Lincoln, I started looking. He thought you were dead. Not yet. It is good to see you, brother. Henry said you came because you need a market license. Yes. I think I know someone who can help. I'll have you released, and then we will go to Winchester. Just be patient for a moment. What about you? My loyals will make their moves. The game is not yet over. 
If you want peace, if you want to save the lives of the innocent, you have to give up. Never. That's the only thing I'm not good at. Then there really is no hope. So this is your brother? I have heard much about you, Prior. Your brother has supported our family for many years now. And we remember those who are loyal to us. Hereby, I grant Kingsbridge the same market rights as Shiring. The same rights? The same. Thank you, my queen. Thank you. The bloodline is restored. Not long, and my son will take his rightful place here on the throne. All will be as it was. I will be a just king, as Grandfather Henry was. Peace will be restored in England. Do you have anything else you wish to tell us, Prior? No. Nothing. Oof. Thank you, my queen. After the Battle of Lincoln, Kingsbridge was granted market rights by English by the English throne. The license grants Kingsbridge the same rights as Shiring. Finally, Philip is able to reopen the market, but in addition to that, it's also allowed to hold a fleece fair. This is a great opportunity for the town and its people, as the wool trades traders despise the conditions on the fleece fair in Shiring. The Priory, the people of Kingsbridge, and the wool traders like Eliana will profit cre greatly. The Pillars of the Earth, Sowing the Wind, Chapter 12, The Great Beasts, What You Did. Valoran knows Tom Builder is still alive. Well, I didn't go after the monk in the market, but we didn't spot him. At least I didn't. So that's a flaw on my part, I guess. You dreamt of your parents and Eliana and Richard. You learned about the events leading up to the Battle of Lincoln. You told the victim not to desert their army, but he died anyway. The, that's, uh, yeah, that's got a sting. But we're not gonna save scum. The king made you undress and put your life at risk. Francis arranged for Maud to give you a market license. After the horrors you saw, you have lost your faith. We will find it again. Or not. There's some title card issues sometimes, In too. In the last two days of the Fleece Fair, we have collected more money than we did during the last three markets combined. Is the Earl of Shiring not opposed to us doing a Fleece Fair of our own? The law protects us. And our lord. He is. Our time of trepidation is finally over. It will never be over. What did you say, Philip? Nothing. The music is too loud. Our prior is right. The display out there is not appropriate for our monastery. The fair will be over soon. And by then... Kingsbridge will be self-sufficient. Oh, we're Tom. All right, we're Mejus. Looks absent-minded if he were waiting for something. Disapproves of the busy fair. Philip, he wants to talk to me. What am I going to tell him? I must make a decision. Monks, in a good mood since Philip's returned. How many of them chose to be monks. How many of them were given to cloister by their parents? They're all the same. Let's talk with Philip then. <clears throat> Philip? Ah, you're back. How are things at the quarry? 
All's in order. We won't have any further problems. So, uh, why did you ask me to come? It's about Jack. He got into a fight with Alfred again. Have you come to a decision yet? About my proposition? I'm... I'm not sure. Jack can already read and write, and there is much more we can teach him here. What does his mother think? Ellen won't talk to me because of this. She believes I'm favoring Alfred. But Alfred is the master craftsman. I taught him since he was six. Jack is only an apprentice. And the two can't go on like this. No, they cannot. He wouldn't work on the cathedral, but he could stay in Kingsbridge. He could? I have no choice. I want the best for my children. For all of them. Of course. Let us talk to Jack, then. Yes. Tom? Wait for me. Philip? Something is ailing you, isn't it? Philip, you told me in Cuthbert once that if you became prior, you would want to fight the priory's debt. Remember? It was the day little Jonathan came to us. Yes, I remember. He was so little. You achieved what you set out to do, and so much more. If only Cuthbert was still here with us to see this. Milius. We have not had time to talk since I returned. There was time, but you avoided it. I have a bad feeling about all this. Why? For once, all is well. It started even before I left my brother in Winchester. But he's still in the middle of all the chaos out there. I am afraid. For him. For all of us. But... It's not just that. No? I think I've... lost my faith. You? Let us talk later, like we used to. Yes, of course. We will. Are you not coming, Remigius? I have pressing matters to attend to, my prior. All right. And what kind of surprise is it? Well, I think you'll be amazed, both of you. Ooh, now I'm curious. When can we see it? I should be done this afternoon. Come on, Jonathan. Let's have a look at the bear. Yes, please. <laughs> have fun, boys. Any idea what he's up to? I have no idea. Father, Jack took tools from the site. I don't know what he did with them, but I know he took them. Well, you two won't get a chance to quarrel in the future. Philip will see to that. But Jack is not the only one to blame in this. Martha and Eliana, so proud of my little girl that she should find herself a husband. Eliana should too. Fleece fair. Never seen that many people here. The fleece merchants from all sorts of places don't understand some of the language. Let's have a chat. Martha, have you seen Jack? He went with Jonathan to see the bear fight. With Jonathan? That's dangerous. What is he thinking? Oh. Leave the market, leave the market, fleece fair. Into the cathedral we can go. We were just inside. Yeah. Jack isn't there.
Hello. Oh, by the way, I've heard from Richard. Is he all right? Message didn't say, but I assume he's fine. Why's that? He says he needs me to buy him a new horse. 